Hey folks, Steve here. How are you doing? So some time ago I had posted some videos about the radiator system that I have in my house. I forget exactly what the, the nature of it was, but I did have a couple of questions uh, that have just come up recently. Someone watching those videos from a while ago saying, hey Spence, about this steam system that you have. All right, well, let me show you what I have now in my basement for my boiler. Here is my brand new boiler. The old boiler had experienced a lot of corrosion. So this boiler by Penco has been upgraded to provide the exact size that I need for the radiator system that I have. It has an automatic venting system that goes out of my chimney, and then water inlet, steam outlet, steam outlet, the electronics, gas in and it does have I believe a standing pilot. It is a one pipe steam system so the steam goes up and the condensate comes back in the same pipe. So let me show you this magical amazing piece of black iron artwork. I mean I am just amazed at all of this so check this out. So here we have steam coming up into the main header and it occurs from both sides of the boiler and then that steam travels up and then starts its distribution from all of those uprights, everything that is on the top there upright, those are steam distribution points. And then as the condensate comes back down, eventually the condensate can find its way into this pipe, apart from the steam coming up, coming down, and then over here, same thing, I have steam that is a secondary route coming down, and then the condensate canal drain down in. So I have actually four, three there, plus this one, condensate coming down into my return system, and then back into the boiler as it fills. I have the ability to drain my system there and down there. The, my system is constantly cleaning itself with steam and so I get a lot of particulates coming down in and that's the way that I want to flush my boiler. I flush my boiler I believe once a month throughout the season and then a couple of times over the summer. Also in my system, this is upside down but this is my automatic water filler because the water has to maintain that level right there and I just noticed that I need to get, clean my gauge glass. The water down below is clear but the gauge glass needs to be, that's called gauge glass, and the gauge glass needs to be cleaned. So shut off the water there shut off the water there, and then you can unthread both of those nuts, take off the copper guards or the brass guards, and then that gauge glass will come right out for cleaning. So that's going to be your automatic water filler. Water through, water through, down, into the system. That below is a bypass, so I can add water if I need to, like so. Otherwise, the water comes from that cold cold water supply. I'll show you a couple of radiators upstairs just to show you what I'm talking about, which kind of instigated this video anyway because of the questions I was asked. But otherwise, this is all new that tied into some of my old piping, and it is a an amazing work of art. I'm, I'm very much impressed. In, and the Hartford Loop is built in there where my old system did not have a Hartford Loop, so I have a Hartford Loop now, and that's from Hartford, Kinetic, and the Hartford Insurance Company, and that was because steam boilers had a tendency to blow up. And so this Hartford Loop prevents steam from steam systems from blowing up. So I'm happy to have one. Let me show you a couple of radiators. We'll wrap this up. Okay, so this radiator we bought out of Philadelphia for $200, and we painted it. And this is on our new addition. So this is a new addition to the house, too. Along with that, in our laundry room upstairs, which is part of the new addition to the right underneath that countertop, you're going to find this radiator, which is one of the plainest radiators we had. We had that actually sandblasted and painted by a local metal shop for us, so it's, it's a, just amazing. This is a, the third and final radiator that we have just added to our new addition in the bathroom, of course, and just absolutely amazing. We actually sandblasted and painted that one ourselves. This pre-existed to the house. This is a radiator in our dining room. And just radiators to me are just absolutely beautiful. You know, water, hot water or steam, doesn't matter. This radiator is the plainest we had in our house, and that's in our, like, eating nook. This radiator you would find in my son's bedroom upstairs. A lot of our radiators actually match that style. Just look at that amazing detail. It just, it, it's, it's a work of art. That steam vent right there is actually how you regulate a steam system. You have to tell steam where to go. This radiator is in our living room. It's one of the largest we have. And that upright pipe right there carries steam up into our bedroom, which immediately above, this is the radiator in our bedroom. And it matches many of the other radiators. Here's a different kind of uh, steam vent. I believe that's called a Hoffman vent, and it has a numerical adjustment.
This is a radiator that you would find in our TV room. Okay, quick history lesson. This is the old bathroom as we bought the house in 2005. There's this radiator. And we gutted the bathroom and put it all back. That radiator stayed, of course. And my wife actually stripped that radiator and eventually painted it silver, which it stayed there for a long time. Now we got rid of the bathroom and we have a library there and we enclosed that radiator in a cabinet. And there is that very same radiator all painted up and ready to go now. So those are the radiators that we have in our house. Everything again, a single pipe steam and it has those uh, Hoffman vents on the side there to allow uh, the cold air to escape and steam to fill the radiator. And you can control and balance your system by controlling how those things vent. Otherwise, um, we have the new boiler that also accommodates the three new radiators that we have in our addition. So everything is sized correctly. And so we can heat this house with steam heat and it's still, and it's very effective. Okay, well, I hope I answered uh, the questions on uh, the steam heat as far as just, you know, what's the system? What are you doing there? And this is what we've got. Hope you got something out of the video. You all take care. If you would like and subscribe, have a very good one. Take care. Thank you.